1999 is the year of the predator killing the eat. Niggas that treat you like an egg when you come to cop, you get beat. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Wavy. I ain't know this. My channel is still at your beach. If you're new to the channel, you haven't hit the subscribe button yet. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all the above. I don't know what you're saying to yourself. I see that cup in his hand in this iPhone 6. What's this? The iPhone 6 or the iPhone? Yes, yeah, it's the 6. No more. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, it's wine, so it's all good, right? Hey, uh, while I'm sipping, do me a favor, sanitize first, and let me get 400 likes on this joint. Where? Before we get into this vid, uh, let's go over some pressing issues. Looks as if uh, StockX has caught wind that y'all started getting y'all uh, little 1212 12, 12 and I ain't get mine yet, but anyway. And <laughs> they're letting y'all know on this release that, uh, well, on this little news release, April 22nd, 2020, buyers of StockX will see a new 3% processing fee added to the purchase price of an item. Any bids placed prior to April 22nd will not be subject of the new fee. Thank you so much. <laughs> Any updates to existing bids, which happen a lot after April 22nd, will be subject to the new fee. For more detailed information on this change, please feel free to visit our facts. Um, F-A-Q-S, not facts like that, but uh, frequently asked questions. Mm. Two words for you. Fuck you. I don't have no comment to that. You know, because it's negative and you're being negative. Moving on. All right, so yo, um, you know I'm gonna do that. What would I rock? Yeah, um, I appreciate everybody that's been checking out my vid for the Air Jordan Retro 5, 5 Red Joints. Checked out that Best on Foot. You already know I appreciate that for real. And I said that if y'all hit me off with the four, I was gonna do, well, I was gonna do this joint anyway. But anyway, oh, I don't have my snap. I'm actually shooting off my camera, but off my iPhone. But anyway, man, and for all that, let me go into my sneaker story first and then we'll, uh, we'll get to all the what would I rock. So anyway, yo, as y'all know, these are the Jordan 5 Fire Red Joints with the Nike on the back. Yeah, I can see that. I remember my first pair of these joints was the 99 release. Had that Nike Air on there, I was hype. I was like, hell yeah. And it was the first time that I was able to purchase a pair of sneakers with my own money. Make some damn motherfucking noise. Yeah, man, so I copped the joints, but I got them, the size was too small. I don't know what size I got at the time, but they were kind of, they, they were running a little tight. Paul, I still did rock them though. I rocked them a few times, mainly with sweats. That's gonna lead into the what would I rock. But anyway, um, I think right after the new year, cause I believe these dropped in 99. I think right after the new year, I was approached by now. Um, one, of my, one of my homies said, shout out to uh, my homeboy D. One of my homeboys in, in school, it came up to me, he was like, yo, he said, Yo, what's up with them J's, man? Them joints are fresh, yo. Let me, I'll buy them off you. I was like, what they selling for? So he was like, I'll give you half. My dumb ass accepted. You know what I'm saying? I've been kicking myself for years, but the sneaker was small. It was too small. It didn't, uh, it wasn't a comfortable fit. So it was kind of like, all right. Now, technically I got $50 for them joints, but I believe they was only like 109 when they first came out. And I'm talking at the PX. So don't start being like, nah, I feel like I had a part now. We talking the PX back when they couldn't sell a sneaker for over like 110. You know what I'm saying? That's why when y'all was going to like Foot Lock and all that, I was going to the PX. Everything y'all niggas do, I don't do. I do the other thing. Everything, y'all niggas go across the street that way, I'm going up. So technically, I did get a few rocks out of them and maybe I lost out on 60 bucks, but yeah, I sold these joints for half. But you know, being the hustler that I am, you know, uh, the weekend time comes and I had homeboys that liked to partake in the same activities that I did. So I already got a half, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna eat 15 from you and 15 from you. You know what I'm saying? So technically, you know, um, if you really did get the math up, uh, I, I technically did only lose like, I don't know, my math is bad, but technically if you did do the 30 minus the 110, that's 80. So you give me the So I, I really only, um, you know, I, I, I came up. Keep dreaming, man. Then you woke up. This was a sneaker that was my favorite joint. I didn't hesitate to cop back in 2013 when it came out, but something was freaking missing. And I wish that I would have put the lace locks. Um, I, lo I think I lost one in my V-Dub, not lost, but dropped one in my V-Dub. When, when it is time for me to really step out with, with my joints, I know I put the um, the plastic piece on top of the lace locks on both sides, different with it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's my story on these joints, man. Shout out to my homeboy D. Every time I um, talk to him, I always tell him, uh, yo, you remember that time? Oh, he, he gonna bring it up. 
you know? And another story, shout out to Angels Retros. Angels was doing a, how do you clean the insoles of the of the sneakers? I remember I mentioned, I said, yo, I sold my joints for like 50 bucks or something back in the day. I wish I didn't. He replied, you must have been smoking that good shit. Cheese the weeds, Papa Cheese. You got real. And at first I was going to take it a, uh, as an offense, but then it snapped to me. Yeah. I was smoking rich. That was hard. <laughs> Let's make some noise that again. That's my Jordan uh, 5 story right there. So anyway, we're about to get into this What Would I Rock. It's gonna be a uh, quick What Would I Rock. Basically, I forgot who you was and you did, you, you brought up a good point. And then I thought about it, I was like, shit, that's how I rock my joints. These Jordan 5s right here, man. They're a dope sneaker. A nice chilling kill, especially if they're still fresh. It's all about the damn sneaks. So my go-to is gonna be like joggers, track pants, that type of vibe. Word. Uh, let's just say jogger suit because I, I wanna talk about pants. All right, I'm gonna go with red joggers. I'm gonna go with gray joggers. Gray's gonna be my first pick though. Red's a little, you know, it does come off strong. I would want there to be more colors in the red. They got these JDI jumpsuits. I first saw them joints when I was in, uh, where was I? They go that Earl, nigga. <laughs> Dominican Republic. I'm gonna see if I can get to, to get the gray joint from the DR, because I haven't seen this joint at any other, like online or nothing. They always got the black one. The gray JDI hoodie. Well, matter of fact, the whole joint, the whole sweatsuit. Oh, yo, got a bang with these, word up. I'm still looking for that hoodie. If anybody sees that damn hoodie, the gray joint, I'm gonna put it up there, up there with the um, with the red uh, Nike, Nike Air box right there. Need that joint, let me know. That's one thing that you can rock with it. You get the black one too. I'm not sure if they have a red. I don't want to just be calling out names, but like I said, you can stick with gray, black, and red. I'm personally gonna stick with the gray because that, that gray is real smooth. You know what I'm saying? Work. Um, let's see, track pants. I rock my black and white track pants with these. Another pair that you could rock is like some black and red. That would probably hit, you know what I'm saying? Like um, having two colors. If we're going shorts, because it is getting kind of, uh, it is getting kind of warm out here now. Hands down, the Chicago Bulls joints. In my mind, I was thinking, I, yeah, I'm a Knicks fan. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we doing bad. We looking bad out here. I said to myself, well, if I get those, because they got a, a year like the 1970s Bulls shorts, what if I get those when they wasn't really fucking on my Knicks? Is it cool? Can I still rock it? If you that don't. Can I just rock them to DR or something like that? I said no, man. Hands down, I ain't gonna front y'all. Those Chicago Bulls shorts, bang with these, word up. Another um, pair of shorts, the green one. Then I was thinking, oh, the Bulls never wore these and just fucked my necks up or, or won a championship off my necks on these. Can I rock these? I don't know, I'm kind of teetering to, I might, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the Bulls definitely on them shorts. Or if you just want to do some gray, black, or some red joints, that'd be smooth. Don't just get those, um, what is it, those, just some red basketball shorts, be like, yeah, you know, nah, that, that ain't it. Oh, go! You like those, um, the tech shorts or something like that, that'd be real smooth, word. Um, and if you rocking the shorts, my favorite socks that I've seen are the, it's these Jumpman socks. They're bad. Who's bad? The first time I really saw them, Jay the Sneaker guy had them on, on his own foot and them joints was hard. I was like, all right, all respects do, you know what I'm saying? Like I see you with them, them joints is fly, like I ain't even gonna front. I like those. So yeah, you can definitely do that as well. Um, tops, I don't know, it, it's pretty much on you. Like you got a wide range of things that you could do. I mean, if you just wanted to be cool with the white tee and the, the bottoms, like you good, you know, like word up. I seen a bull shoot around joint. Now I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna go that crazy. Everybody knows you never go full retard. But I did see that. But like I say, when I think about these, it's all about the Chicago Bulls, word up. Another joint, um, like hats, bulls, bulls, bulls. Or, I know I'm a Knicks fan. Michael Jordan was a Knicks slayer. Got that right, boy. Just like um, the sixth man on any team's bench right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, uh, I would definitely be inclined to go that route, word up. And like I said, everything I say is not etched in stone. Star starts with you. If y'all got any gems, let me know. That's pretty much what I looked at. I didn't go into like all the soccer jerseys and nothing like these, nothing like that, I'm sorry. But, cause these are like, a, um, like I said, these are a chillin' kill. I think one foot, uh, one foot that I did put together was my black and white track pants with the Everybody Eats hoodie. And then on top of that joint, my Olive G-Star, kind of like shirt, technically light jacket uh, over that joint, just to, um, just to break it up a bit. Oh, with the white tee underneath. Yeah, no, with the gray tee underneath. Yeah, that's how I rock it. 
That's definitely how I rock them. And if we're talking about track pants, like I already said, the black and the white joints, red and white will do too. Or if you can see, um, you can get like red and gray, just mix up those colors and that'll be fresh, yo. Let me know how y'all gonna rock them. Let me know if y'all gonna go after these. Uh, oh, shout out to my man T. Jackie D. He actually did not say that these were the joints that he was not gonna go after. It was the DMP joints that are uh, coming out this weekend that I am trying to copy. You already know if I get them joints best on foot on YouTube. Yeah, I already know. You know what I'm saying? Even if I don't have the olive joggers. Scared out of you. But anyway, um, I'm about to get up out of here, man. Uh, shout out to the Wave Mod. Shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me. Like I said, start starts with you. Y'all cop them joints. If y'all got a fit in mind, put them joints below. But yo, Chicago Bulls, word up. Even Chicago all um, black eyes. But yo, I'm telling you, on some chill and kill, you know what I'm saying? Like, word up. Look at me. But anyway, man, about to get up out of here. Like I said, 400 likes on this joint, man. I appreciate it. Follow me on that Snap. Follow me on that IG. Follow me on that Twitter. That Twitter B. But that Snuffs. <laughs> it's your boy, Wavy. Yeah, I know this is my channel, Mr. Beach, like I always like to say. See you when I see you. Um.